Right now on your 13 Action News update, the alleged suspect arrested in the shooting at a church in California has Las Vegas ties. Police say six people were shot, one person was killed. All of the victims were Asian, as was the gunman. Now, dozens of people were eating lunch at the church when that shooting happened. This morning, again, the gunman is in custody, but right now police do not have a motive just yet. EDC returning to the Valley this week. The three day electronic music festival features dozens of the world's top DJs and attracts hundreds of thousands of people. We have video from that party back in October. Now the biggest impact we will feel here as locals will be the traffic. This is on the 15 heading northbound north end of the valley, north and southbound typically uh, bumper to bumper when this festival comes to down and that festival begins Friday night at the Speedway. This weekend and today, thousands of students are graduating and we here at Channel 13, we want to say congratulations to all of the students for your hard work and going through some of the toughest times we've experienced here. So enjoy your summer. You deserve it. And Justin Bruce, it is going to feel like summer out there. Yeah, 10 degrees above average with highs back around 99 at the airport. Pretty likely that the east side of the valley will hit the triple digits for a couple of hours around 4 or 5 p.m. Sunrise Manor, Nellis, even North Las Vegas, as well as downtown Henderson expecting to get toward 100. Maybe best to push your outdoor activities into the early evening, 8 p.m. The sun is set, still warm then at 92. Early in the morning is really the best time to get outside. We'll wake up to the 70s first thing Tuesday, but clean up upper 90s still with us Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Some wind on Thursday, but then a drop to the 80s for Friday. All right, Justin, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com and our free mobile app.